Hi everyone, my name is John. I'm here to teach you a little bit about reggae music. In Jamaica during the 1950s, communities of people would gather at small dance hall clubs called sound systems, where a DJ would play popular American R&B, such as Fats Domino. From this style of music, the Jamaicans developed their own sound of early ska and blue beat reggae, which involved shuffled drums, heavy pianos and triplets, and a faster party type beat. During the 1960s, the style of music became slower with more of a love-based lyric. This new style was called Rocksteady. With a muted bass and upbeat guitar skank, this new sound mirrored the Motown and early soul era. It was said that during this time, Jamaica was unusually hot. The ska beat became too fast to dance to. Somewhere around 1969, the development of the reggae sound began to form, with organs used prominently as rhythmic instruments and up-down-up up skank guitars used from the rocksteady sound. This developed into the roots of reggae sound in the mid-70s, with lyrics containing a political agenda for social change. This new music was associated with the Black Panther movement and was a way for the people to get their news. This new style began to use minor keys and slower tempo. It also borrowed rock and roll style guitar effects such as the wah and a bubbled piano rhythm. This new roots reggae music also led to the beginning of versions. Each track would have different versions on a record such as the main vocal version, the instrumental or spoken version with an MC writing the disc. Eventually, these versions led to the creation of dub reggae, which was the morphing of pre-recorded reggae music into new and different sounds. The studio became the instrument of the musician. Heavy delays, tape delays, and spring reverbs were often used in this style. This was said to influence the hip-hop and techno movements in the United States throughout the 80s and 90s.